So you know each other? We went to university together. Not only that, we also dated for a time until that son of a Gonvalovsky stole her from me. And I really suffered, by the way. Really now? Very interesting. That's all in the past. Now you're my only love. I heard from friends you'd moved abroad after graduating and started a successful business there. Yeah, and now I came back, decided to introduce my company to our market. Nice. I'm happy it all worked for you. Thanks. Thanks, honey. You two are so beautiful. You make such a great couple. I'm happy you're together. Yeah, we're together. Nastya, Lara told me you have money problems, but you're married to Volovsky himself. He was a successful businessman even back then. Ikor and I broke up. And to be honest, I don't really want to talk about this. I understand. Hey, Nestia, I have a job opening in my company to use assistant. That is my personal assistant. Will you take it? I don't know anything about it. There's nothing to learn. Besides, what are you afraid of? You were the most gifted of our year. Nastya, say yes. It's a no-brainer. It's better than washing dishes at a bar. Well, that's true. Now you're talking. It's decided. I'm waiting for you in my office Monday. Guys, thank you so much. Nika, I'm home. Hi. Hi, so... How are you? Good. Good. Good girl. Mom, I almost forgot. The class mistress asked me to give you a letter. Thanks. I failed the math test, didn't I? No, sweetie. It's me who's in trouble with the headmaster. Hugh, I was so afraid. Something to drink. Come on, I'm driving. It's okay. It'll wear off by morning. Excuse me, be right back, Vo. Speak, but be quick. I'm busy. Igor, they want to expel Nika from the gymnasium, but we can still fix everything if we pay the debt and pay for the next six months in advance. Please, let's think together about who we can borrow the money from. What do I have to do with it? That's your problem now. You wanted independence. There it is. Nika is your daughter too. Right, and when she's living with me, I'll sort it all out myself without you. See you in court. Where are you going? Is something wrong? I don't want to get involved in your family business. A long time ago, my father did to mom what you're doing to Nastya. We haven't talked since then. Vika, wait, what does your father have to do with it? That's the thing, you don't understand. And I doubt you ever will, sorry. The dog was walking down a piano and he said, Gymnasium, I won. Good job, Nika. I have to tell you something. Now, Mom, can't we finish the game? No, honey, listen. Your gymnasium is, it's very expensive. 
And right now, it's the two of us, and I'm only getting paid next month. You want to take me out of the gymnasium? Nika, there's a school in the next block. It's good. I read the reviews on the internet. I'm going there tomorrow to talk to the headmaster about transferring you there, honey. It's for your own good. My own good? You never ask me anything. Why did we leave, Dad? Maybe I'd like to live with him. Nigga, wait, Nigga. Do you want me to pick you up after school? It's your first day, after all. That won't be necessary. Sweetie, I know you're angry at me. Can you imagine how nervous I am? I'm going to work for the first time in 10 years, but we're starting a new life together. Yeah, except you chose it, not me. All right, bye. Dear colleagues, I'd like to present you my assistant, Anastasia Volovsky. I'm sure we're going to have a great time working together. Happy first day at work. Thank you. We always greet newcomers like this. Boss came up with it. He wants us to feel at home here. Thank you for the warm welcome. Thank you. Hi, I'm Jaeger. We're in the same class. I know, you're the one who glued my pencils to the desk. You figured it out. Look, you're not, like, mad. Of course not. It was actually funny. Nice, you passed the test. What test? Well, you're not a square, cause those people have no sense of humor. Complain to the teacher about me, I don't even have any friends in class. I don't think I'm going to have any either. You saw the welcome they gave me. Yeah, it's because of that thing you spray in your mouth. Are you sick or something? Doesn't matter. Well, if you say so, it doesn't. Hey, would you mind going to the park after school? Okay, let's go. Mom's at work anyway. And I get bored alone at home. Dope. Let's go. Class is starting. Hello. Hello. Cappuccino with caramel, right? Yeah, thanks. That's my favorite. I didn't think you still remembered. I do well, you figuring it out. If you have any questions, don't be shy, ask me right away. Oh, and come by accounting today for an advance. I mean, thanks. But this is my first day. What if it doesn't work out? It'll work out. I'll help you if anything happens. Thanks. I'll do my best. And I really do need the money right now. Great. Then go on, get to work. Okay, look, pick up a stone like this, pinch it with these two fingers, and boom, throw it. Ooh, three hops. My turn now. Go ahead, sunk. School's out. I had lunch. 
In the cafeteria, mashed potatoes and a cutlet, yeah, by mom. It's asthma medicine. It helps when I get stressed. Why were you stressed? Weren't you talking to your mom? Lately, we don't see eye to eye. Had a fight. I'm just mad at her. She makes all the decisions and she doesn't even ask me. My opinion isn't worth anything to her. I see, I don't really remember my mom. She left me and dad a long time ago. How are you managing? Not bad. We're okay, the two of us. Nika, I'm home. Sweetie, Nika. Nika? Nika? The number you have called is temporarily out of service. Hello. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Anastasia Sergevina. I was just about to call you. You need to bring Nika's birth certificate and make a contribution to the class fund. Yeah, yeah, sure, I'll do it. But I'm calling to find out where my daughter is. This is her first day in school, and she still hasn't come back and isn't answering my calls. She went with Yegerzuv after class. This boy is in her class. Went where? Can I have that Zuv's mom's phone number? He doesn't have a mother. He lives with his father. I'll look for it. But I wanted to warn you. Jaeger isn't the best choice of friend. Though, hold one second. Hello, did you get it? Yeah, yeah, I got it. Thank you so much, goodbye. Speaking. Hello, I'm the mom of your son's classmate. Call back later. I can't talk now, busy. Nika, why weren't you answering my calls? I was worried. I called your school. Where were you? Mom, Jaeger, that's my new classmate. First he and I went to the park, and then he invited me to his judo practice. It was so fun. You have no idea. So I forgot to call you. And then my phone died, and I thought I'd explain everything to you at home. Sweetie, your teacher said that that Jaeger... Mom, Jaeger is very kind. I swear, it's just that his grades aren't very good and he clowns everyone, but he's really fun and I can help his grades. All right then. If you think he's a good guy, I believe you, let's go eat. Tell me, son, have you no shame? We said you would behave yourself, and guess what? They're calling me in again. Jaeger will walk me to Lara's lessons today. Okay, it's really close. Okay, but take the underpass to cross the street, and I'll pick you up after the lesson, okay? Mom, look, Jaeger, Jaeger, hi. Hi. Excuse me. You. Me? Well... Hello, Nika's mother. Hello. He spent two hours sewing it up later. You want to apologize for being rude yesterday? You called at a bad time. I was preparing for a complicated surgery. I didn't know. 
Your daughter's breathing is labored. The asthma is clearly progressing. My advice is correct her treatment regimen. Look, I told you, we trust our family doctor. Thank you for advice, but we're sticking with her recommendations. That's your right, Jaeger, come on, we have to go. Nika, is everything okay? Yeah. Come in. May I? Alexander Vladimirovich, your schedule. Okay, first of all, it's Sasha and drop the patronymic. Nasty, why so formal? Okay, Iximport called this morning. They're interested in our software. Okay. You have an opening at 3.20 tomorrow. Okay, then 3.20 it is. Nasty, you have no idea how happy I am you're working for me. Me too. I'll get going, okay? I need to call them, get the time approved. You know, you brought us good luck. We spent God knows how long struggling with that tender, and then you showed up and it all worked out in a second. I'm flattered, but I didn't do anything, though. That's what you think. Well, run along. Your Honor, the defendant's lack of punctuality speaks volumes about how careless she is with her daughter's fate. Good afternoon. Sorry, I'm late. Afternoon. Take a seat. Let's begin. Your Honor, we propose to resolve this out of court with a settlement agreement. Bo in it, you, Anastasia Sergevina, agreed that your daughter is better off living with her father in a spacious suburban house, studying at the prestigious gymnasium she studied at before. It has her circle of friends, is her socialization, her quality education. And in return, my client won't interfere with your weekend visits to your daughter. No, I don't agree to that. Well, then allow me to state our case. Anastasia Sarjavina is unemployed, and consequently she cannot provide a decent quality of life for her daughter. What do you say to that? Your Honor, I found a job, and I'm capable of providing for my child and myself. We've had a decent life all this time. Yeah. Right, because you sold all the jewelry I gave you. Is that true? How dare you? Are you saying I'm lying? No? Right. There, see. Nika, I left my laptop in the studio. Can you go get it? What's the matter? Lara, I don't know if Nika is going to continue the lessons. The court is probably going to give her to Igor, and he doesn't believe in it. Well, sweetie, are you ready? Ma'am, goodbye, Valeria Dmitrievna. Let's go. Goodbye. Hello. 
Nastya, meet Andrey Viktorovic, the company lawyer. He will represent you at the court session. Hello, Nastya. Hello, Sasha. I mean, thanks a lot, but those are my problems. I can handle them. Okay, Nastya, stop. Tell me if something happened to me, would you help? Of course. Right, so I want to help you too. How did you know I needed a lawyer? Lara told me. Please understand, we're both worried for you. Okay, I don't mean to take up your time. Go at it. Well, shall we begin? I always fully supported my wife. But as soon as I started having financial problems, she decided to get off what she thought was a sinking ship. The actual reason for the divorce is Igor Alexandrovich Valevsky, my client's husband at the time. Here is a statement from witness Valeria Dmitrievna Kunitsina. I would like to hear the position of the Valevsky's daughter since the child is already 10. The court has the right to consider her opinion. Veronica, sometimes children have to choose which parent to live with after a divorce. That doesn't mean you're betraying somebody. You'll be able to see both your dad and your mom, but still, who would you like to stay with? Dad, I'm sorry, I'd like to stay with my mom. Thank you. You've done so much for us. Thank you. No problem. Igor. Please, do me a favor. Let's part ways like normal people. You can see Nika anytime you want. And I'll never. I see you wasted no time. Replaced me pretty quick. And with who? This loser. Sasha, sorry about the scene. That's exactly why I didn't want to drag you into this. I didn't even notice, so don't worry about it. Let's go. I'll walk you to the car. Let's go, Nika. Come on. <laughs> Nika, okay, breathe, breathe. You hear? Come on. Again, better breathe. I'm calling the doctor now. You hear, breathe, 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 breathe. Come on, breathe. Breathe, sweetie, breathe. Nika, breathe, breathe, breathe. Saturation below normal. Supply humidified oxygen through the nose catheter. Okay, got it. It's okay. It's okay, breathe. Just a moment. It's okay. I see, okay, glucocorticoidive. Our doctor usually did it differently, though first she. If you get in my way, I'll send you home, oxygen therapy, glucorticoids and bronchiolitics if, and make sure there's always fresh air in the room. Okay. You'll be okay, you got me, calm your mom down. Breathe, it's okay, it's okay, you're doing great. Breathe, breathe. Hi. Hi. Here are the drugs, everything from the list and a little more. Sasha, thank you. Oh, stop it. How's Nika? Better, I think. Hey. How about we transfer Nika to a good private clinic? 
Today, I even have one in mind. I know the owner personally. They have great doctors, not like these ignorant kids. Can't even explain what's happening. Leave the room. Now, why would I do that? Because you're interfering with my work, undermining the patient's family member's faith in the attending physician. One look at you is enough to lose faith in medicine forever. Sasha, please don't. I'm grateful to you for the help, but I'm not transferring Nika anywhere. Nika needs peace right now. If you want to visit the patient, behave properly, and I wouldn't recommend that tone when discussing the hospital staff. Nika's condition is stable. The hardest part is over. Go home, get some rest, sleep in. I won't be able to sleep right now. If you pass out from exhaustion, it definitely won't help anybody. Nika needs her mom to be strong and healthy, and I promise you, I'm not leaving this hospital, and I'll watch Nika. All right. I wanted to apologize for last night. You have no idea how grateful I am, Roman Alexandrovich. Nastia, let me take you home. You need to rest up. Goodbye. Nastia, I didn't mean to be rude to that doctor. It's just... Once they took my mom to a hospital just like that and they couldn't save her, and suddenly... I was really afraid for Nika. Sasha, I'm really worried for her too, but... I think Roman. I trust him. Sasha, thank you. Thank you for being there for me. I couldn't do this alone. Nastia, I want you to know I'll always be there for you. And you can rely on me. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Sasha. You, what was that? What? What about Lara? Nastia, you, you got it all wrong, right? I need to come by the office, stay strong. I'll be in touch if you need anything. Call me.
Yes, Roman, speak. Something wrong with Nika? Nastia, don't freak yourself out. Nika is feeling much better. Her breathing has normalized. She even had a bit to eat. She's sleeping now. I just wanted to tell you it's all good. Well, and also to apologize for being rude back then. When they need to act urgently, doctors aren't very diplomatic sometimes. It's okay. I understand. Thank you. Tell me, how long has Nika been sick? How often do her attacks happen? Nika was diagnosed when she was two. But lately her attacks have been much less frequent. I was beginning to forget to forget what it was like, but now it's back again. I see. You know, this exacerbation probably isn't due to just stress, it's also simply moving into the city with asthma. Clean air is very important. But it's all right. We'll sort it out. We'll adjust her treatment regimen a little more and... Thank you, I hope. Good night. Sleep in peace. Good night. Hello. Hello. Dad said it was okay. Hi, Mom. Hi. They told us it was okay. Honest. Sweetie, you're feeling better already. Much. Can we finish the song? Well, if the doctor allowed it, you can. Look at that, you got a whole orchestra in here. There are no orchestras with just one instrument. Oh, come on now, well, want to grab a bite? You need vitamins, you know. Thanks. I'm not hungry right now. Well, I am. Here you go. Jaeger, I'm here for you. Let's go. Concert's over. I have to go. Sweetie, I'll be back in a minute, okay? Roman Alexandrovich. I wanted to thank you for letting Jaeger visit Nika. It's good for her. Jaeger too. It's like he's a different person after meeting her. Started to do his homework. Brushes his teeth without a reminder. Come on, Dad. Dad what? And also, don't be mad at Sasha. He's a good guy. I've known him a long time. It's just, right now we're all stressed out. I totally understand. What are you reading? Fairy tale. You know, after our conversation, you calmed me down so much. It's like a weight got lifted off my chest. Well, I'm actually trying to redeem myself in your eyes, admit it. Your first impression wasn't a very good one. To be honest, it wasn't. But now, though, I can't imagine what we'd do without you. Nastia, let me take you home. Sasha, thanks. 
You go ahead. I'll stay with Nika a while. Actually, Nika's got treatment sessions for the next few hours. And then she'll need rest, so you can actually go. You'll be back tomorrow. Oh, and another thing. Nika really should be living out of town. Think about it. I totally understand, but try to get out at least on weekends, okay? Definitely take up singing lessons again. It's good for preventing attacks. I'll try, thank you. Take care. See you tomorrow. You know, it'd be funny if Nika turned out to be my daughter. What do you mean? I watched Nika for a while today. I think we look really similar. What if, Nastya, the timeline totally fits? What if you just decided not to tell me, or you didn't know either? But now you can tell me the truth. Can't you? Sasha, I would never hide something like that. It'd just be unfair to Igor, to you, and especially to Nika. She's Igor's daughter. And please, let's put this matter to rest. I just thought... Okay, never mind. Come in, sweetie. Well, how are you feeling? I'm great, Mom. You sure? I'm sure. Nika, I have to go to work. You don't mind if I go? Of course not. I was going to call Jaeger anyway about today's homework and to hear all the news while I'm at it. Okay, listen. If you start to feel unwell, call me immediately, got it? Mom, stop worrying so much. I'll be just fine. Okay, see you tonight. Then... See you tonight. Lock up behind me. Okay. Hey, Lara. Hi, when can Nika and I come for a lesson? Never. Why? Like you don't know, Sasha left me because of you. Lara, listen. It's some kind of mistake. There is nothing going on between me and Sasha, Lara. We've run the tests on the app and we'll install it in the nearest future. Come on, that's our job. Yeah, okay. I'll be in touch then. Goodbye. Good afternoon. Hi. Sasha, you need to sign all this, piled up over a few days. It's so good you're at the office. I'm totally lost without you. How's Nika? They released her today. Well, I'm really glad, Nestia, I've been meaning to talk to you, not here. Though not at the office. Too many distractions here. Maybe we could go somewhere after work. Sasha, I have Nika all alone at home, some other time. I don't ask you for a favor often, but seriously, it's very important. Okay. It really is time for us to talk. It's settled then. Thank you. What do I get for you? Sasha, 
I'm not hungry. You wanted to talk about something. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Nastia. I decided you should hear this from me. Lara and I broke up. Turns out we're just too different. It happens. I knew that. I called her to arrange a lesson for Nika and Sasha. I don't understand it, but she blames it all on me. Maybe there's some truth in Nastya, none of it is your fault. You see, it's all we'd break up regardless, sooner or later. I mean, she's a wonderful, good person. But not meant for me. Do you understand? Nastia, you, maybe you think I'm imagining things again, sure, I don't want to lie to you. When I saw you after all those years, I for a minute, I imagine we get get it all back, what we had, but listen, I totally understand it all. Nastia, I mean it. There's absolutely nothing for you to worry about here. You hear me? I hear you. We done with that part. We're done. Great, now listen, I have this idea. I got it when I was like listening to that doctor, the one treating Nikkei. Look, I have a big suburban house that I live alone in. Sasha. Hold on, don't interrupt. Let me finish. The doctor said Nikka needed fresh air. Besides, you'll be good there. Nika will be able to come back to the gymnasium. We'll find a new singing coach. Sasha, I'm very grateful to you, but you know that's not possible. How isn't it possible? It's a big house there. Two separate wings. You guys will have your own entrance. Look, we won't even have to see each other, if that's what you want. You won't owe me anything. I just want to help you and Nika. Besides, it's temporary just until she gets better. Think about it. Sasha, you really are doing so much for me and Nika. I'm insanely grateful to you, but you do realize I can't give you any sort of answer right now. Nobody's rushing you, are they? I'm just saying, don't refuse right away, think about it. Right, we've been talking too long, so let me order for you. Because I know this here kitchen very well. Sasha, I'm not hungry, I'm sorry, but I have Nika home alone, she just got out of the hospital, I don't want to leave her. Of course, I understand, say hi to Nika from me. Thanks, I will, bye. Bye. Waiter. Nika, what if you and I move outside of town to Uncle Sasha's house? There's more room there. And most importantly, the air is good. The doctor said it's good for you. Moving again? Changing schools? No, I'm used to this place, and I have Yega here, and I don't like that Uncle Sasha anyway. Nika, it'll just be for a time and Jaeger could come visit you. I'm not going anywhere. Yes, Sasha. Hi, did you tell Nika? Yeah, I talked to Nika, and it's not happening. She doesn't want to move. Maybe she'll change her mind. Maybe she will, I don't know. How about you talk to her again? Sasha. What if it works? All right, I'll try talking to her in a couple days. Great, I'll be waiting.
Nika, Nika, sweetie, come to dinner, Nika. Dinner's ready. Nika. Good job, straight back. Breathe, let's repeat the exercise. And remember, your tongue, larynx, and abs are your most important muscles. Come on, go ahead. So how was it today? Better, not perfect. Of course, her voice still sounds stiff in the upper range, but there's progress. There's progress in accounting too. It's all totally in order now. Thanks, Nastia. What would I do without you? Listen, how about you come work for me as an accountant? least part-time. Thank you for the offer, of course, but Nika's asthma. I really don't have the time. You know our regiment, treatment, exercises. When would I work? Then how about we count this as payment for the lesson? It really doesn't feel right otherwise. Come on, what do you mean, doesn't feel right? Every day I'm thankful that we found you. When the doctor recommended singing lessons, I didn't even think it'd help, but it did. And it's all thanks to you. Don't exaggerate. Yes, it is. Don't argue. You're a real find for us. All right, then. I'll be your find. Let's go. I'll walk you out. Nick up. Rehearse the warm-up at home. Okay, okay, Valeria Dmitrievna. Why are you limping? Oh, nothing. A small car crash with a big future. I like the way you were singing tonight so much. Nika, there's a concert at the gymnasium soon. How about you perform a song there? I think you're ready. Mom, is Dad going to come when I'm asleep again? Honey, Dad has a lot of work right now. Don't be mad at him. Okay, here comes Dad. Hi. Hi, girls. Hi. Hungry, I'm going to set the table. Dad, today I... Yes. No, we talked about this. I said no, look, are you capable of making your own decisions at all? Then get legal on it. Mom, thanks, it was delicious. Something wrong? Work stuff, don't worry about it. How about you go on vacation? We'll go somewhere. We haven't gone somewhere together in such a long time. Sure, but let's do it a little later. We're doing good too, in case you were wondering. Nastia, please stay strong. It's just for a time, I'm exhausted all to hell. There's only one thing I'm dreaming about, to go sleep and hear and see nobody. Just go see Nika before you do, okay? She was so excited to see you. She wants to brag about her progress at singing, and she's really doing well. Of course, I'll make sure to do it. What was it that you wanted to tell me about? I really want to hear about it. Look, I remember that I promised to come home early. But, you see, 
I want you and mom to have all the best things, and for that I have to work a lot. Your mom told me how good you are at singing, and I'm totally tone deaf. Listen. Sings, the tired stars are asleep. The sky shakes the clouds. Dad, it's Rita's birthday tomorrow. What do you think I should give her? When I was a kid, I dreamed about a big dump truck, an awesome one, radio controlled. How about we give her that? Dad, are you serious? She's a girl. I think I should give her a dollhouse instead. That's not a bad idea either. It was mom's idea. Yeah. Our mom is great. Nigga, get my wallet in my purse, please. Okay, mom. It's not in there. What do you mean it's not? Excuse me. Where could it be? I definitely remember taking it. Maybe it got stolen. Let's call the police. We could watch the footage from the cameras. Mom, we'll definitely be late to the party then. No, no need for the police. Let me call my husband. He'll pay it with his card. Can I do that? Of course. Lady, you almost done. You're holding the line up. The number you have called is temporarily out of service. Please call back later. I'm sorry, we'll be back, let's go. So what now? I already told the girls I have a surprise. Let's go to dad's work, get the money, and we'll definitely buy the present. I promise. Let's go, Nika. Wait in the car, be back in a minute, be right back. Lady, where are you going? Hello, my husband. Igor Valovsky is the owner of this company. I'm here to see him. That's not allowed. Victoria. Excuse me. Hello. Yes, hello. What's going on here? I came to see Igor, and it's like... Yes, I understand. I'll call Igor Alexandrovich. He'll explain everything. Thank you. This isn't a good time. Go home. What's going on? I don't quite know myself yet. I'll explain it all later. No time now. It's all right, baby. So we're going back for the dollhouse? Mom, coming to a birthday party without a present, better not to come at all. Hey, I bought the present for your birthday ahead of time, a karaoke microphone. How about we give it to her? No way, Mom. I've been waiting for it for six months. Honey, I promise, I'll buy you another one just like it. Or even better, it's still a long time until your birthday anyway, deal. Fine, let's do it. Привет. 
Kai. Why aren't you asleep? How could I sleep? You haven't been answering my calls all day, then all that happened. Tell me, why was there a search at the office? I took care of it, don't worry, and the search, it's nothing, just the competition, six the tax people on me. Igor, please, tell me the truth. Okay. A large shipment of medicine was seized from the warehouse, suspected counterfeit goods, anonymous complaint. You're totally innocent though, right? Let's talk tomorrow, I'm so tired of it all, I'll be in the shower. And Rita got a tablet and a big plush elephant, just huge, Dad. I want one like that too. Yes. The party really was great, but I don't think it's just about the presents. It's also about the fact you made friends with everyone right away, and you all had fun together, right? Are you expecting anyone? I'll get it. Igor Alexandrovich Falevsky? Yes. Investigator Sizanenko, court warrant for your arrest. Upon examination of the files of the case about the suspected felony arrest I, Valovsky, part two of article. Dad, Daddy. Nika, I promise, it'll be okay, I'll be home soon. When? Very soon. I'll explain it all later. <coughs> Nika, how are you feeling? Breathe, breathe. I'll be right back. Come on. Another time. Better, my God. Breathe, breathe. Hello, Nina Ivanovna, this is Valovskaya. Nika got stressed and she's having an attack. The inhaler isn't helping. Take her to the hospital right away. Another doctor is on shift today. Experienced. He'll help you. Okay, let's go, let's go. Here you go. So how are you? Don't worry, Mom. I'm okay now. What caused the attack? Stress. Cause of the stress? Family situation. You need to protect your children from family situations that cause stress, particularly with your diagnosis. Thank you for your help, but how about you don't give me life lessons? I know how to raise my daughter. As you say, I'll give you some referrals for additional tests and make an appointment for you. We have a family doctor, and we trust her completely. She just couldn't see us today. All right, your child needs to get more fresh air and avoid cold-related diseases. We've heard it all many times and know it by heart. Thank you, let's go. Goodbye. Take care. You should stay home for a couple days, after all. Mom, if my friends here, classes, and at home, I just think about Dad all the time and cry. He's in jail right now, right? But he's innocent. Mom, are you sure they're gonna let him go? 
Honey, of course he's innocent. I'm sure of it. Then why did he get arrested? Nigga, I'm going to go try to find out right now. Maybe I'll even see him. If you see him, tell him I really love him and I'm waiting for him. Of course I'll tell him. Run along now. I'll pick you up after classes. See you tonight. See you tonight. Hello. Goodbye, hello. I would like to get permission to visit my husband, Igor Alexandrovich Valevsky. I'm not authorized. Who is then? Nobody's in who's authorized. Look, I want to see my husband. You can't deny me that. Actually, yes we can. Plenty of reasons to pick from. Bad behavior, abuse towards detention center staff. We could even write it up as resisting. What are you talking about? Resisting what? My husband is not a criminal. Yeah, nobody in here is. Lady, go home. You're interfering with my work. I'm not going anywhere until I get permission to visit him. Want to get locked up for 15 days for disorderly conduct. I'll make it happen. Yes, that's right, Dmitry Mikhailov Xizanenko. When will he be in? Then, what do you mean, he won't, who's in? Then, can you just tell me who to talk to? They hung up. Been like this all day. Thank you for meeting with me. What's the point? I don't have any news for you anyway. I'm calling every number. I just get bounced from one number to another. Nobody will talk. Yeah. Nobody's telling me anything either, thing either. So what do we do? Sadly, this case is beyond my scope. They recommended a good lawyer to me, but you'd have to pay for his services. The company's accounts are all frozen. I'll do anything, as long as they let Igor go. Yes? German Nikolaevich, hello. I called you earlier. I'm Anastasia Valovskaya. Victoria sent me. Yes, yes, yes. She sent the paperwork over. Have a seat. Thank you. Well, I've looked into the case and I'm prepared to help you. You know, the case against your husband is rather flimsy and with the right strategy, I'll take it apart in court. Thank you so much. I've prepared a quote for legal assistance on this case. All right, I'll pay. Great, within a few days, I'll sort out changing the pretrial restraint measures. And they'll let your husband go home. Thank you. I can pay scrap prices for this, stones don't count. Those are the rules. This is so little. Find another deal.
What would you value this at? Pure gem, five carat. Not bad. I'll buy this for my wife. No buyback. You know, I have this strong feeling that the case against your husband wasn't an accident. Tell me, does he have enemies? I think every businessman has competitors. Powerful enough to put a man in prison, to be honest. This is the first time I've seen the prosecution refuses to work with the defense point blank. And it's possible that personal enmity toward Igor Alexandrovich is at play. You know, I only realize now that I have no idea about my husband's affairs, competitors, partners, enemies. Igor never told me anything. He just waved all my questions away, like, don't worry about it. That happens often. Let's go. The court orders that the pretrial restriction measures are to be changed, and Mr. Vasilevsky is to be released on his own reconnaissance pending investigation. Congratulations to you. Vika, thank you for your help. With the lawyers and everything, thank you. Take care. Goodbye. German Nikolaevich, thank you. I don't know what we'd do without you. See me if you ever need to. I'm at your service. Thank you. I was so afraid it'd go wrong. Nika is so excited you're coming home. God, I'm so happy you're free. Thanks, Nastia. Thanks for hiring an experienced lawyer. Nika, I smell like jail. I'll come see you later. I really want a shower. Come on. Honey, Dad is very tired. He needs a minute to recover. Don't be mad, okay? Let's go. Well, how are you? Where's your ring? I had to sell it. And the other jewelry too. I had to pay the lawyer, and Nika and I had to eat. There was no money at all in the house. See? I had to buy a shipment of medicine and I was forced to go into debt, spend everything we had, but basically... The supplier screwed us. Igor? How come? 
I never thought it had happened either. It wasn't my first time working with that tiki. It always worked out fine, and it was my only chance to save the company. Save the company. I didn't want you to worry, but things were actually pretty bad. And now they're even worse. It's all right. It's all right. We'll get through it. Sell our cars, the house. Move into the apartment grandma left to me. I'll get a job. Economists are in demand right now. I let you down so badly. I didn't notice, didn't support you. Please tell me everything now. Nastya, what do you want me to tell you? I need to understand what's going on, so that there's no surprises like that anymore. Look, I spent all these days in a cell. I don't have the energy or the desire to talk about this. All I want is to say goodnight to Nika and crawl into bed. Yeah, I'm sorry, bad timing, sorry. Hi. Hi, Mom. Well, let's go to Lara. Of course, honey. Anastasia, can I have a minute? Nika, go to the car. I'll be right there. The thing is, you haven't paid for the last month. Yes, I'm sorry. We'll be sure to pay. And you also haven't paid your share for the holiday trip. All the parents already have. You're the last ones. It's that we can't go, we have other plans. This is your decision, of course, but your child will get disconnected from the group. That's not good. Please think about it. Thank you. Goodbye. Everybody's going and I'm not. Nice. I wonder what other plans we have. Exactly. Honey, this is a very challenging time for our family, and we can't afford as much as we could afford before. Please, just wait it out. Okay, yeah, let's go. Get into it. Nika, come on. What's wrong? Let's go again. Get your coat on. Honey, can you wait for me by the car, please? Yes. We won't be long, thanks. Goodbye. Goodbye, Nika. Lara, here's the deal. We're having money problems right now, and we can't stop the lessons. You know how much they're helping, basically. Can I ask you to let me delay my payment a little? Is something wrong? Yeah. Igor has problems at work, but we'll get through it. Just not as quickly as I'd like, I guess. No problem. I told you from the start, you really saved the day then with my accounting, so I owe you. And also, you said you needed a part-time accountant. If you haven't changed your mind, this arrangement could continue. Nastya, things have kind of changed. I'm dating this young man, and it all happened so quickly. He saved me from all the paper pushing. The studio is now serviced by his company's lawyer and accountant. Lara, I'm so happy for you. You keep your chin up. Things will work out for you too. 
Yeah. I'd like to think so. It's just, Igor is so depressed because of all this, right? I don't mean to load you down. Thank you so much. See you. What a scumbag, low life. He was supposed to take care of all the problems. That's how it's always been. Now there's no medicine, no money, and Tiki's gone. Screwed me and disappeared. Nigga, please go to your room. What's going on? What's going on? The business is gone. That's what's going on. The accounts are frozen and the lending bank is taking our property. Now you know everything, happy. Honey, listen to me. We'll get through it. You hear me? What matters is that you're here. At home, you're with me. Excuse me, I need a walk. Yes, Lara? It's like you knew I was going to call you. Was about to call you myself is all. Are you done? I'll come pick you up. Not yet. I'm off in about an hour. Well, okay. Look, I wanted your opinion about something. Remember how I told you about Nastya, my student's mother? Of course I remember. I remember everything you tell me. So cute. Well, get this. I just saw her husband in our bar with a mistress. And I don't know what to do. Do I tell her? Do I stay quiet? Personally, I always prefer to know the truth. So I tell her, right, keep your spirits up. I'll be there in an hour. Lyra, you're up. Coming in a couple minutes. The number you have called is temporarily out of service. Please call back later. Hello? Nastia. Hi, I'm sorry, but I have some bad news for you. Nika, will you be okay alone? I'll slip out for a half hour. Of course.
Why aren't you asleep? I saw you with Victoria. Oh, that's what it is. Well, I'm sorry. I needed to deal with my stress. You should understand. Should I understand? What's the big deal? We've been married for many years. Feelings aren't what they used to be. That's natural. Why turn everything into a drama anyway? Huh? We're both adults. Look, I'm tired. I'll go lie down. Mommy, good morning. Why are you sleeping in my room? Good morning, Nika. You're not going to school today. Yay, cool. Mom, is something wrong? Sweetie, please pack your things. We're moving. Dad will stay in this house. And we'll live somewhere else for a while. I'll tell you everything later on the way. Pack your things. Nastia, don't be silly. Why ruin everything because of some nonsense? In the next few days, I'm filing for divorce. I'm not letting you have my daughter. Soon as I'm done with my business, I'll... My grandmother lived in this apartment a long time ago. I get sent to her on weekends often. She would make pancakes with sour cream and homemade strawberry jam specially for me. I love them. Grandma's gone for a long time now. But I still remember the taste. And that's why we have to live here now, with all this old junk. Sweetie. Dad and I decided to live apart for a while. But you can keep talking to him, of course. And Dad loves you. I won't get in the way of you guys spending time together. Mom, how are we going to live without Dad? We can do it. Nika, I can't pick you up after classes today. I have a job interview. Another one? Can you go to Lara's on your own, on the school bus? All my classmates have been taking it since forever. You don't have to drive me to school and back. Nika, is something wrong? It's just, our class mistress said in front of everybody that you still haven't paid for me. Sweetie, I'm really going to try to fix that, okay? Just wait a little bit. The quality of your education is evident. What do we do about your work experience? 
Yes, I only have six months experience at my husband's company, but it just so happened that I got married right after graduating, then I had my daughter, but I'm a very quick learner. What's changed so suddenly? Why did you decide to get a job? Almost 10 years later. Circumstances We'll call you. Thank you. Good afternoon. My name is Valovskaya. I had a job interview. I'd like to ask. I told you, we'll call you goodbye. Looks like Nick is in a mood today. Lara. I'm basically, can you help me with the job search? I don't really know. The dishwasher at my bar quit, but that's not for you. Another couple of failed interviews and I'm ready to wash dishes. After all, it's a job like any other. You're paid money for it. And I really some right now. Okay, I'll ask around. You know what? I'm performing at the bar tonight. Come by, we'll have a coffee. Think about it together. Thanks. See you. See you. Hi, Nika. Hi, Dad. I missed you so much. Me too, but right now I'd like to talk to Mom. You're going to make up? Right. And we'll all live at our home again? Well, well... I really hope so. Nika, please go home. Dad and I have to discuss some things. What do you want? I loaned up, there's a chance I could restore the business, it's over with VIKA Nastia. I learned my lesson. Really, take Nika and come home, I'm so miserable without you too. You're miserable. What about me? I spent so many years married to a man who betrayed me. No, Igor, I can't do it anymore. Okay. I'll go, but what are you going to do without me? You have no skills, you're nobody without me. A zero, fine. But I will not let my daughter live in this hole. I'm taking her, I have a big house. I'll restore my business, the charges are dropped. Who do you think the court will decide to leave Nika with, you or me? Think about it hard. Nastia, perfect timing. Let's go. Here we are. Meet my friend. Nastia? I don't believe this. Hi. Hi. Nika. Where is my daughter? Nika. Anastasia, wait, wait, Nika is here, everything is okay, look. I don't know what the reason for your fight was, but maybe it'd be better if we discussed it all calmly, over dinner, for example. Do you like pilaf? What pilaf? 
I mean mutton. Are you out of your mind? I raised everybody. Why didn't you call me right away? I called, but I got the busy signal and... If you really cared, you'd reach me, or better yet, you'd have taken Nika home, Nika, my baby, sweetie, why are you doing this to me? I almost lost my mind. Because I don't want to move anywhere. If you're so obsessed with the idea, you move wherever you want. Nika. Emmy, I'm staying here. Well, I don't mind, as long as you do the dishes. Agreed. Let's go finish making the salad. Let's have dinner. They did their best. You do understand that if you take her away now, you'll only make it worse. Thank you. Enough? Enough. Delicious. Really? Yes, it really was delicious, with the oranges, the pistachios. Where did you learn to cook like that? In Iran, I was there back when I was a student, during the 2003 earthquake, as part of the rescue service mission. You worked as a doctor with the rescue service? Well, a long time ago, 10 years ago, then Jaeger was born. And I transferred to a regular hospital. Hey, I did my math homework today, and the teaching lady goes, Zuv, you surprise me. Don't let it go to your head, Zuv, let's talk when the quadmaster is over. You sound exactly like our teacher Ludmila Stepanovna, how about I go get my guitar, do you have any idea how awesome I am on it? Jaeger? Actually, it's late, we have to go, right? Mom, let's stay just a bit more, let's listen. Fretted here? I was, I was fretting. Is Jaeger going to a musical school? He's not bad. Yeah, he seems to have an ear for it, but he refuses to go to a musical school. He downloaded some guitar lessons from the internet. Well, I showed him a couple of chords, but I think he plays better than me already. Interesting. I'd like to hear it. Let's do it another time. Of course. Thank you for everything, but it really is getting late. We're going home, Nika. I promise that I won't make any decisions without you from now on. I swear we good. I'll walk you there. Thank you. My coach can't teach me anymore for some reason. Yeah. Unfortunately, I haven't found a new one yet. You remember, Nika needs a special program. Yeah, we're here. Oh, Dad is here. Roma, thank you for walking us and for the dinner. What the hell was that? Where were you? And you, why didn't you call and tell me Nika's been found? First you raise hell, then you won't pick up the phone. Sorry, I didn't hear you calling. Of course, I should have told you right away. I just... You should have, you should have used your head, not your... Look, Nastia apologized to you. You shouldn't act like this in front of the kid. Who the hell are you, anyway? Stay out of it. Dad, Daddy, please don't be mad. Come up to our place. There's so much I have to tell you. I have a new friend, and... Tell me next time, okay? Please don't be mad about my dad. He's a good guy. He's just... Don't worry about it. I'm sorry. It's my fault. It's awkward. I'm sorry. Yeah, I understand. Everybody got a bit too stressed, so is it good night? Yeah, good night. Good night. Hey, how are you? Hey, I'm all right. Sorting through the travel expense reports, sending it to you soon. 
I'm all right, Sasha. Great. Then I have two important questions for you. First, is this coffee? Thanks. And the other one? And the other one is about you moving in. Have you had a chance to talk to Nika? You could move in as early as next weekend. Sasha, thank you so much for it, but we're not doing it. She doesn't want to. She's used to her new school. She has new friends. And I don't want to pressure her, you know. Yeah, of course I understand. Are you sure you're not mad? No, Nestia. How could I be mad here? Roma. I feel like I'm 50 again. I breathe freely. No wheezing. I take the stairs to the third floor and I fly up. You have no idea how glad I am that I came to you four years ago. I've seen so many doctors. Scary to even think about it. They all just shrugged. It's the age. It's the age. And you. Both of us should be credited. Elvira Nikolaevna, you were determined to see results. And that's what matters. Besides, there's no such thing as age. There's only how you feel. Exactly. Well, my dear doctor, ever since the sickness lit up, I have nothing at all to do. I'm dying of boredom and I'm full of energy. I know I'm not coming back on stage, but I have to come up with something to do. I think I have people who could use your help. Doctor. But we scheduled an appointment beforehand. What do you mean? He's not in. Right. Unfortunately, I can't answer your question. Alexander Vladimirovich didn't warn me. And unfortunately, I'm unable to reach him. But let me set up another appointment, and I'll definitely call you back. Okay. I'm waiting for your call. But in the future, please notify me about such issues ahead of time. Of course. I apologize once again. Hello. I'm here to see Alexander Ivanovich for a job interview. Hello. He's not in right now. One moment. The number you have called is temporarily out of service. I see. Too bad. Well, I'll get going. Hold on. I was looking for a job myself recently, and I know how unpleasant it is when someone cancels on you. What position are you interviewing for? Programmer. Okay, then let me set up a meeting with the head of our department, and he'll tell Alexander Vladimirovich everything. Thank you. Please, take a seat. Hey, are you all right? You've been kind of off today. A black car has been following us all the way from school. Just don't turn around. Let him think we haven't made him. Come on, be real. There's no one there. You've been watching too many movies. It's really important that he sign that today. I understand. Not as the Anatolyevna. As soon as he comes back, I'll give it to him right away. Thank you. Hello, Alexander Vladimirovich isn't in. Did you have an appointment? It'll have to be rescheduled. Rescheduled for when? Where is he? What are you staring at me for? Tell me where he's hiding. I don't know. Why are you talking to me like that? Get me some coffee. I'm a patient man. I'll wait for your boss here. Don't stand around, move. Look. I don't know what your business with Alexander Vladimirovich is, but I won't talk to you if you use that tone. Please leave this office. Or you'll do what, girl? Stump your foot. I'm calling security. All right, then. I'll come by another time. Tell him I said hi. Name's Tiki.
Sasha, finally. Though, are you okay? Sorry, Nasty, I didn't have time to warn anybody urgent business trip. Why didn't you pick up then? Everyone's looking for you. Though, don't worry, I'll sort it all out tomorrow. Why are you worried for me? Sasha, of course I was worried. I'm happy to hear that. See you tomorrow, Nastia. Also, our homework is to write an essay. Jaeger wants to write about his father, how he saves lives. Jaeger wants to be a doctor too when he grows up, like his dad. Who do you want to be? A singer, of course, if I can do it. Jaeger's dad is calling. Good evening, Roman. Nastia, hello. You said Nika needed a singing coach. I talked to a patient of mine, though. She's ready to try her out. Elvira used to be an opera singer taught at the conservatory, though. So she's expecting you for an audition tomorrow. Thank you so much. I, I don't even know what to say. A thank you is enough. And another thing Elvira is a little special. I'm the only one at the hospital who can talk to her. So I think it'd be better if we went there together. And if you don't mind, I'm taking Jaeger too. He's anxious to support Nika. Of course we don't mind. Thank you for the help again, Nika. I have good news. Mom, I'm kind of nervous. What if that singer lady doesn't like me? Well, I'm not nervous at all. I'm sure everything will be fine. You really are a very good singer, you hear. Hi, my baby girl. Hi. Well, shall we go on today's agenda? We have the amusement park, and then we're going to our favorite sushi place. You ready? Igor, why didn't you tell us about your plans ahead of time? I really don't mind that you spend time with Nika, but she has singing lessons today. We're meeting the new coach. Dad, did you hear what Mom said? I'm going to the lesson. Are you the one who brainwashed her like that? Singing helps with asthma, biggest load of baloney I've ever heard. Dad. It's not just about asthma, I just like singing. I'm a big girl now, and this is my choice. Will you pick me up from school tomorrow? We could go out then. Of course, okay. Promise. Let's go. Don't worry so much. I don't know what's happening with me. It's like I'm the one taking an exam. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I've really missed the audience getting up for applause. And I'm taking your girl on. She definitely has talent. Thank you. Elvira Nikolaevna told me I still have tons of work to do. That's just the way she is. You'll never get a compliment from her. But the fact that she agreed to work with you says volumes already. Roma, you have no idea how grateful I am. Really, don't mention it. The person you needed just happened to be my patient. Still, thank you so much. Hey, Dad and I are going roller skating. How about you join us? Yeah. Mom, let's go. It's the weekend. Let's go. Nika, catch up, charge.
Do you skate? I tried it once as a kid, but I never did learn. So you're afraid? Nika, are you seeing it too? What? Like this, bend your knees, you have to keep your balance. They're gonna hit the wall. I'm sorry. Thank you. I'm sorry, well... Another lap. Let's do it. Right, look. So I'm going for this ramp, we're going, this dude's next to me, like, we're like this, he's here, I'm here, so we're going like that, next to each other, and his skates break. When did they grow up so big? I don't know myself. Hey, how about we go out like this again sometime, would you like that? Of course I'd like that. Nika had so much fun. And to be honest, so did I. Nastia. In that case, maybe you would agree to go out for dinner with me tomorrow night. I know a nice place. They make excellent food, I mean, the two of us. Are you asking me out on a date? Well, it appears so. Yeah, I'm asking you out on a date. Okay. I say yes. Thank you for today. No, thank you. Goodbye. Nika, let's go. Bye. Hey, where are you going? We're going home. Take care. You know, it's not easy for them right now. Their dad left them. Nika is really sad and worried for her mom. Son, tell me. Would you mind if I went on a date with Nastia? You like her? Yeah. Do you want to marry her? Well, it's too early to talk about marrying her. So what do you say? Well, I don't mind. Okay. Mom, remember the stars I had in my room? I miss them so much. Imagine you have them here too, look that there is the Big Dipper. What's that over there? That's Orion. Today was nice, wasn't it? Yeah, today has been a very good day. Come in. Good afternoon. Sorry, got held up. The traffic is awful. I don't have any appointments after this one. Would you like something? Tea, coffee? No. I'm all right. Spill it. German, something you wanted to talk about. Yes, there is something. Tiki. Finally, did you manage to find something? I was already wondering what I'm paying you for. That's unfair. I promised I would get a private detective agency on it and that we would find him, but it took some time. Okay, okay, don't be mad, German, spill it. All right then, we managed to get a lead on that ticket. Finding his hiding place is a question of time. Bodygo? 
You should understand he's just the trigger man. So find him and find out who the mastermind is. Ego, please understand there could be trouble, big trouble. You've seen with your own eyes what these people are capable of. Don't go trying to scare me now. After everything I've been through lately, nothing scares me, and I want to get back at these bastards. First Tiki, then the mastermind. Okay, I got you. Hope so. This is for you. Thanks. So how are you doing? Right now, I'm okay. But the day before last, I wouldn't want a repeat of that. Your new schedule is in your email. I rescheduled all your appointments. Also, a programmer came for a job interview. I introduced him to the IT guys. They said he's a great applicant. I never doubted you could handle everything. Thanks. What's that? That's a tour to Bali Island, wonderful place. I took care of everything already for the three of us. I'm sure Nika will love it. Sasha, I thought we already talked about these things. Yes, Roma, hello. Hello, Nastia. I can't make it tonight, Vo. I'm really sorry. It just happened. Okay, I understand. Vo, I don't think you do, you see. I got run over by a car. What? Where are you? Do you need help? Vo, no, no reason to worry like that. I'm okay, got away easy, just a little concussion and two rib fractures. I jumped out of the way in time, but the landing was unfortunate. You need to report it to the police. I did, but to be honest, there's nothing I could even tell them. The driver escaped. I didn't catch the license plate, some black SUV, loads of those around town, but at least I get to have some well-earned rest at my own hospital. Well, let Jaeger stay with me and Nika at least, he's all alone there. Thanks, Nastia. I called Jaeger's grandmother already. She'll stay with him while I'm in the hospital. Good afternoon. Major Slusarenko. Nastia, I'll call you back. Someone's here to see me. Yeah, get well soon. That guy in? Alexander Vladimirovich is in the middle of a call. Did you make an appointment? Like I have time for that. Stop, Sasha. Nastia, it's all right. Hey there, Alexander Vladimirovich. Thought you screw me. Go on the lam while the Volovsky almost finds me. What did you promise me? That there won't be any trouble. Actually, I didn't see anything. You do realize we have to respond to a car accident. Take certain investigative action. Yes, I understand, but you have to understand something too. I have no reason to hide anything. The thing is, the accident was recorded by a CCTV camera at a nearby store. Here, take a look. Can't make out the license plate, unfortunately. But it doesn't look much like a random accident, see? The driver drives out onto the crossing when you're already on it. And he doesn't even try to brake, in fact, he speeds up considerably, side swipes you and drives away. Roman Leonidovich. Try to remember, do you have any ill wishes, enemies? 
No. I don't have any enemies. Why would I? I'm a simple doctor at a simple hospital. No. I don't think that was an attempt, just a stupid coincidence. You've been warned, if someone goes at me, I'm not covering for you. It's all going to be okay, there's nothing to worry about. Come in. Sasha, who was that man? Do you do business together? Why? Well, he came by during your business trip. He demanded to know where you were and just acted like a jerk. Nastia, you don't have to worry about it. It won't happen again. I ordered security to never let him in again. I heard him mention. What about that programmer you told me about? You know how hard it is to find a good at guy. I want to meet him personally. Can you make it happen? Okay, I'll tell it. They'll send him in to see you. Awesome, thanks. Can I leave the office on my lunch break? Sure. No problem. Speaking. Hello, Victoria. This is Valovskaya. I really need to talk to you. About what? I don't want to do it over the phone. Can we meet? Give me a place. I'll be there. I'm downtown right now. I don't know. Just give me the address. I'll be there in 20 minutes. 6 Raduznaya Street. It's a cafe. I'll wait for you there. See you. Nika, how much longer? We've been here 30 minutes already. Did Dad really forget? We just arranged this yesterday. So call him, find out. Maybe he has some urgent business. Happens a lot with adults. He always finds something more important than me. Great. He doesn't even want to talk to me. See, what did I tell you? He has work. Nastia, if you have a problem with me and Igor, we aren't together anymore. I quit and I don't with that man anymore. I'm really sorry it happened that. That doesn't interest me anymore. Does the name Tiki sound familiar? Igor said it was because of that man that problems started at your company. He's the CEO of the company that sold us counterfeit goods and disappeared. Igor met Tiki at a medical expo, I think. Yeah, I know that. Did they start working together right away? No, Igor was very careful choosing his suppliers, so at first, he refused to work with him. But there was something about him I don't know. Anyway, he didn't want to work with him. But Tiki simply buried him in his offers and managed to change his mind somehow, so much that after a while, he became pretty much the company's main supplier. Do you think Tiki could have gotten the company into a shady deal on purpose? What if his goal was to set Igor up from the beginning, say, on someone else's orders? I don't know who would do that and why, although... 
that would explain a lot of things for sure. All right, Victoria, thank you. And just some friendly advice, try not to mess with married men, it never ends well, right? And Jaeger hated getting up early for school so much he'd always invent diseases for himself, didn't you? One time, my friend was visiting an ophthalmologist. That's an eye doctor after hearing all sorts of stories from him. Jaeger started to cough and sneeze and told me a horrible cataract bothered him all night. That was just because of a math test. Right, guys, time for you to go or grandma will get worried and Nika's mom to actually walk Nika to her apartment. Thanks. Dad, I didn't need your hints to do it. Go on. So a tree has roots. Makes sense. Right, and those roots have a tree. Nika, two trees. Nika, Nika. What's going on? What? Are you mad, right? I couldn't come to your school. I had urgent business. That's what I thought. Who's there? Lara, this is Nastia Valovskaya. We really need to talk. We have nothing to talk about. Go away. I said go away and never call me again. Is that meant for us, Lara? Are you all right? We're the Sergevs. Tamara. The first so sorry. Of course that wasn't meant for you. The buzzer is broken. One moment. Come on in. Lara, I'm begging you, please. We really need to talk. I don't. Okay, put the bed closer to the window, please. The light has to fall at a certain angle. Careful, guys. Please, careful, Sasha. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. We weren't expecting you today. Guys, don't stand around. Bring the rest of it in. Sasha, when it's like this, it's hard to tell what it's actually going to look like. I trust you completely, Yene. As long as everything is perfect here, like in the project I approved, that's very important to me.
Lara. This really is very important to you most of all, I'm begging you please, hear me out. And after that, you don't have to talk to me ever again if that's what you want. Lara. The thing is, you and I are victims of some very strange game. Lara, listen to me. There was nothing going on between me and Sasha. And there couldn't be. I don't know what lies he told you, but none of it is true, I think. No. I'm sure that he's the one behind the problems at my ex-husband's company. He was the one who arranged for Igor to go to prison. Lara, it turns out that he's well acquainted with the man who sold Igor that shipment of counterfeit medicine. And I think that it all started well before you met him, I think. Please, can you tell me how exactly you two met? How's Nika doing? Did you find a new coach? Yeah. We found one very experienced teacher, former opera singer, Elvira Nikolaevna, strict, demanding, but Nika likes her. Elvira Nikolaevna, I studied under here at the conservatory. I was horrified of her. I understand that. The way Sasha and I met really was weird. Though, I was coming home after a lesson with Nika, and he almost ran me over with his black SUV on a pedestrian crossing. Then he apologized, invited himself over for tea, started to give me flowers, court me. He almost ran you over with his black SUV? I don't believe it. Why not? Because very recently, someone ran a new friend over with a black SUV. And okay, Lara, I'm going to tell you everything in detail and let you decide if I'm crazy or not. Why are you asking me about Tiki? First, tell me what you know about him. I told you everything already. Tell me again, then, any detail could be important now. Fine. We met when the company already wasn't doing good. The tax people were pressuring us. Suppliers and clients we'd worked with for years were suddenly declining offers. And then Tiki makes us a lucrative offer. I didn't like him. I was in doubt for a very long time, but... I decided I'd give it a try eventually. We had a few deals. Surprisingly successful ones. Did you think it could be a setup? Not at the time, no. Tiki offered a large shipment of generics. Those are cheap alternatives for expensive original medicine. I pounced on that opportunity because I knew it was my only chance to keep the company afloat. But. The generics turned out to be fakes. Tiki disappeared with the money, and I got thrown in jail. I'm done. Your turn.
Well, at first glance, this story is completely stupid, but I work at Sasha Karakov's company, personal assistant, and just recently, a man named Tiki came to see him. I remembered right away that I'd heard you say that name. So you're saying they know each other? They don't just know each other. Tiki was demanding payment from Sasha for setting you up. What, Nastia? I'm sorry, I don't understand. Igor, that means that all of it, all that's happened to you, was Sasha's doing, and Tiki was just the trigger man. Korotkov? Yes. So Korotkov made it all happen, but why? I think Sasha, basically, that he's not all there. He thought you took what was rightfully his. Now he's trying to get it back. Interesting, what did I take, exactly? He convinced himself that I was supposed to marry him and that Nika is his daughter with me. God, that's nonsense. Yeah, it sounds like nonsense. I didn't believe it at first either, but now I'm positive, so please, let's go to the police together and tell them everything. Imagine that. And I was so sure that it was my mistake, that I'd lost my grip, didn't know people anymore. I even believed that it was my fault that the company went under and that our family broke apart too, but it turns out it was all you. Are you seriously blaming me for everything? You getting a mistress, was that my fault too? If everything were all right with the business, there wouldn't be any mistress. And as for your Karakov, I'll deal with him without the police. You good? Igor, I prefer not to get involved in lost causes and gambles. Korokov would think nothing of putting you in jail again. And me too. So what do you propose? Forget about him. A goal you need to restore your family, get your business up and running. Going against Korokov is like spitting into the wind. It could end badly. I want to talk to him, arrange a meeting for us. I didn't pay you all that money for nothing, right? Fine. But I'm done with this case now. Good morning. Good morning. Mom, when are we going to have breakfast? Mom? Is something wrong? No, sweetie, sorry. Everything's fine. I'm just preparing for a long day. Nika, I'll pick you up after school, okay? I have to go to Elvira Nikolaevna's after school, though. Can I go with Jaeger? Okay, I'll pick you two up from Elvira Nikolaevna's then. Hi, Karakov. Well, hi. What? You didn't think I'd find you. So you finally got it. Well, as they say, better late than never. Do I order something for you, by the way? They make wonderful breakfasts. Breakfast. 
Do I tell you where you can stick them? Got it, suit yourself. Let's get to business, then talk. I know Tiki is your man and that he set me up on your orders, so now you're going to pay me all of it back, got it, to the last copa. Really now, so fierce, be honest. Did you rehearse this at home? Right. And you'll leave my wife and daughter alone too. Ex-wife, ex, you know. It's actually a good thing that you know, save us some time. Look, I got an offer to buy a controlling interest in a certain bank, which, by the way, is your company's creditor. The deal is basically done already. All it's missing is my signature. So, Ego, if that bank does become mine, as much as it saddens me, the existing loan terms will have to be revised. The interest rates will become higher. The maturities will get shorter, and the most problematic debtors will be made to pay everything at once. How do you like that outcome? You're such a bastard. Let's pretend I didn't hear that. So if you want to lose everything you got left, go ahead. Let's fight. What are you getting at? What do you want? Not that much. Ego, relax, get out of the way, leave Nika and Nastya alone, they aren't your family anymore, and it's better if Nastya doesn't know about meeting too. She doesn't have the best view of you already. There's no reason you should make it even worse. Look, you're too serious. How about coffee after all? Good morning. Good morning. Sita, this is my notice of resignation. Do me a favor, have Alexander Vladimirovich sign it. But he only signs such notices personally, after talking to the person who wants to quit. Yeah, well, I really don't have time. I'm going away. It'd be better if you did it, okay? Hey, everybody. Good morning, Alexander Vladimirovich. Nastya, it'd be better if you got it signed yourself. Yeah, come in. Hi, good timing. We're going to have coffee now. Sasha, this is about business. Why is something wrong? I got it. You're pranking me. Sasha, I think this is for the best. For both of us. I'm not going to Bali with you, and I think we shouldn't see each other for some time. 
I'm grateful to you for your support, for everything you've done for me, but this is it. Please sign my notice. Thank you. You don't get it. You need scales for more precise articulation. Lara and Elvira Nikolaevna both said so. It's so you hit the notes better later. It's not boring. It's the opposite. It's like if people talked with the word la. Yeah, mom. Sweetie, how are you doing? Good. Going to Elvira Nikolaevna's with Jaeger. Good. Then call me when you're done. Okay, tell Yeager I said hi. Okay, bye. I will. My mom says hi. Thanks. Okay, one moment. May I? Nastia, come in. Of course, right? I'll. One moment. Thank you. Come in, take a seat. Well, there's no wheezing. I don't hear any. Don't work yourself up. I mean, I understand that all diseases come from nerves, doctor. But I have a displaced fracture, you know. But now that a good doctor is examining me, I'd like to examine everything else. Thank you. Thank you so much. What are you doing seeing patients on your medical leave? You're breaking your regiment, doctor. Bored. I get bored just lying in bed, so I find work for myself, or rather, it finds me. How are you feeling? Wonderful. They're releasing me tonight. So our date is still on, if you haven't changed your mind. I haven't. Nastia, is something wrong? Maybe I could help. No. It's just this whole situation, you getting run over by a car, and I, I'm worried for you. You don't have to worry, it's all in the past now. I brought you some fruit. Oh, you shouldn't have. Do you like apples? I do, Antonovka especially. Here you go, here's some Antonovka, washed beforehand. It really is Antonovka, you want some? No, to be honest, I've hated apples since I was a kid. Fine, more for me. Enjoy. Well, I have to go. I'm picking the kids up after the lesson at Elvira Nikolaevna's. Jaeger took Nika there, and I'm picking her up. Yeah, I know. It looks like they've become real friends. Yeah. Well, until next time. Until our date. The number you have called is temporarily out of service. Nastia, Nastia. Wait. Is something wrong? Jaeger just called me. Nick is missing. Jaeger wanted to call you right away, but he was too scared. What do you mean, missing? What are you talking about? They were by Elvira Nikolovna's house. Suddenly, some black SUV drove up. A man jumped out of it, pushed Nika into the car and drove off. Jaeger tried to do something, but Nastia. We need to call the police right now. Black SUV. Yes, Jaeger says that he's seen that man before, but he can't remember where. Nastia, Nastia, can you hear me?
Nika, what's the matter? Don't be scared. You know I'm your mom's friend, meaning I'm your friend too. Why did you take me away? It's a surprise for you and your mom. You're gonna love it, you see. I need to go to the bathroom. Can I go? Can it wait until we're there? It won't be long now. No, please. I really need to go. Fine. It's that way. Though, hello, Sasha. I know you have Nika. I'm begging you, please give me my daughter back. Nastia, no need to get so worked up. It's all right. Please, at least let me talk to her. Hard, isn't it? When there's nothing you can do. Maybe this way you understand the way I've felt all these years. You're crazy. You hear me. I'm calling the police. Do you seriously think you can scare me with the police? Vo, by the way, how's your doctor? Did he get released yet? He should stay out of this. Nastia, you're a smart girl. You know what I can do to Nika if there's something I don't like. So if I were you, I wouldn't call anybody, Bo. But if you want to see your daughter, sure, come over. But alone, got it? Alone. Yes, yes, I promise. You don't want me to hurt Nika, do you? Okay, okay. I'll come, just tell me where. I'll send you the address later. Sasha, Sasha, please listen. She's scared. She could have an attack. Why are you dragging her into this? This is just between you and me. Let's just talk, Sasha. Nika, come out, please, we have to go. Nika, what are you lost? Let's go, we're this way. This is your room. Come on in. Don't be shy. Pretty, isn't it? Do you like it? No, I want my mom. Mom will be here soon. I always deliver my promises. And here comes mom.
Nika, I know you're scared. But please, don't freak out. It's going to be fine. I want you to understand that I would never, you hear? I would never do that. It's just... I had no other choice. You know? By the way, do you like pizza? Pineapple juice? Oh, and I downloaded some movies onto the tablet. I'm not hungry, and I don't want your movies. Nika, why are you treating me like this? I'm just trying to make you comfortable. Mom is coming soon. And we're going on a trip together. We'll go sailing on a yacht. By the way, I'll teach you to scuba dive. Do you know how awesome it is? Nika, you're going to have anything you want. Because you're my dear. Only daughter. I have a dad. I'm not your daughter. We just happen to look so similar, right? You're like me, you don't give up until the end. Mom and I wanted to tell you together, oops, me and my big mouth. Well, what can you do? Don't worry. Mom is going to tell you everything very soon. Pull up here, please. Are you sure? It's like 50 meters to there. I'm sure. Well, it's over there, it's dark. The road is bad, and the neighborhood doesn't look very cozy. I'll get out here, thank you.
Mom, Mom, I'm in here, Mom. Don't make me hurt you. And mom. Sasha. Sasha, where are you? Nika. It's so good you're here. Are you kidding me? I want to see my child right now. Where is she? Calm down. No need to get so worked up. Give me your phone, please. You didn't tell anyone anything, did you? What's happening with Nika? I'm begging you, please tell me. Nika is perfectly fine. She's here. You're going to see her soon. This is for you. But first, you and I, Nestia, have to discuss everything. Okay, let's discuss it. Take a seat. This is going to be a long conversation. I'm comfortable like this. Suit yourself. You know, I almost lost my mind back then, when you dumped me, yeah, I had an honest-to-god nervous breakdown. I ended up in the hospital. For a long time too. And that's when I got it. That I have to fight for my love, fight for you. That's what helped me get through it. The realization that all was not lost. That I could change everything, you know? Look, tell me, why did you choose Valevsky, huh? You don't have to answer last year, you don't. I know why well enough. Because he was richer, more successful than me, that's all. And who was I? Well, Nastya, I was a nobody. So, Nastya, I don't blame you. The choice was obvious. But there's another issue. You didn't really know what kind of man he was. And that's why you made the wrong choice. You do understand that now. Sasha, people make mistakes sometimes, but that doesn't mean 
And that was when I realized I should become more successful than him to approach you as a wholly different man. It motivated me. I won a grant for studying abroad. Started my own company, which, by the way, became very successful. Opened regional offices all over the world. And you know the rest. You've worked at my company. After all, you've seen what I achieved. And now, I want to share all this with you. Sasha, why this complicated path? You could have just called, you could have just come, and I would have been happy to see you. Happy? Of course you would have been happy, Nastya. But now, looking at me and at everything you found out about your husband, you get it already, don't you? That you made the wrong choice. Your husband, he's pathetic. You saw that for yourself, right? But you set him up. Don't defend him. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. You just don't get it. I didn't even have to do anything. He'd been having problems for a long time. Yovalovsky was in a situation where he had to make a snap decision. And that's when I sent Tiki his way with the counterfeit drugs, to be honest. That idea had seemed to me primitive, I guess. But for someone like him, even that was enough. What about Lara? Lara. I came to Lara's studio often just to listen to Nika sing. I'd sit in her office and imagine us all, the three of us, taking a walk somewhere on some beautiful riverfront. Or wandering down some narrow historic streets. Holding hands, laughing, chatting, about nothing, just to talk. And then we come back home. Put Nika to bed. And we're alone with each other. Nastya. I saw it all so clearly. This is possible. Do you understand? Nestia, we can be together. Do you hear me? Nobody. Do you hear me? Nastya. We'll love you like I love you. Nastya, you do understand that, right? I'm sorry, I didn't understand that from the start. It's okay, Nastya, it's okay, you and I can fix everything. I swear to you, you hear. I swear I'll make you the happiest woman in the world. Wait, we were leaving the country today. Nobody, do you hear me? Nobody will get in the way of our happiness. Put it on. Put it on, Nestia. Nestia. Will you marry me? <laughs> Nastia, you have no idea how happy I am. Oh, and another thing. It's important that I hear you say it. Nika. No, Nastya, I'm not going to scold you for anything. I won't blame you either. I've forgiven you already. But I need you to tell me. Nika, is she? My daughter. Tell me the truth. 
Nika is your daughter. She's your daughter. I knew it, Nastia. I knew she was Nastia. Sasha, 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 listen to me, please. Bring her here to me. I'll tell her myself, I promise. Of course, my love. Of course, I'll bring her. Hold on one moment. Mom, mommy. Nika, sweetie, I'm sorry. I'm sorry this had to happen. Just wait a little bit longer, okay? I'll explain everything later. Nastia, how about we explain it all to Nika on the way, okay? Because our flight leaves in two hours, we have to get there in time. I already put our things in the car, and whatever's missing, we'll buy at the new place. Well, all right. Let's go, my girl. You have to obey me. It's all right. It's all right. Right now, please do what he tells you, okay? Trust me. And you're riding next to me, in front, okay? Of course. Go, go, go. What? What's going on? Get out of the car. What's this? Out of the car. Mom, mommy, I'm scared. Don't cry. It's all right. Out. Hands off. Get your hands off. Do you know who I am? Go on. Face the car. It's all right. Nastia, Nastia, it's me. It's all right. You're safe. Come out. Come on. Like that. Are you okay? There, there, there. Mom, is it true he's my real dad? No, sweetie, no, it's just Uncle Sasha. He's not well, you know? It's all his imagination, and your dad is Igor. He loves you, and you will see him soon. You hear? Come here. Give me one second. I'm sorry, back then. All that time ago, I didn't know I'd hurt you so much. I should have softened the blow, you hear, Sasha. I really want you to know, I really wanted to fall in love with you. I did, but I couldn't. I'm sorry for that. You promised. Nastia. You promised you wouldn't tell anybody. I did. Sasha. Sasha, please listen. She's scared. She could have an attack. Why are you dragging her into this? This is just between you and me. Let's just talk, Sasha. Nastia, Nastia. 
Wait, I'm not letting you go alone, don't even think about it, you have to tell me everything right now, and we'll find a way, I promise. We will save Nika. Valentin. Police Major. Retired. Now he has his own private detective agency. Thanks for coming, buddy. Insulting. I told you, I'm in your debt for life. This man's magic touch brought me back from the dead ones. Come on, knock it off. Did you manage to find something out? Yeah, they told me this cock of story. This guy takes preparation seriously. Nestia. He has to be sure you're coming alone. So we're calling a real taxi. You go wherever he tells you. And we'll watch you. What if he finds out? What's going to happen to Nika then? I should have never told you, he warned me. Calm down, Roma did the right thing. If you come for your daughter alone, you'll both be trapped. Nastia, trust me, we'll do everything stealthily. Your job is to make him think everything's happening the way he planned it, got it. We're moving out. Watch her phone. I thought you, I. Did you really think I could ever be with you after everything you've done? Everything I found out about you? Nika is not your daughter. She's Igor's daughter. I don't even know how to thank you for everything. I'm glad it's all over. I have to call Jaeger. He's losing his mind out there. I barely talked him out of coming with me. Can I do it? Yeah, of course you can. Thanks. Hey, Jaeger. Thank you, goodbye. Goodbye, take care. Anastasia, I need you to check all the reports and sign them. Valera, I'll do it tomorrow. The workday is long over. But the boss is expecting the signed documents today. And my husband and children are expecting me. Tell Mikhail Yurievic he'll get them just fine, but tomorrow. <laughs> one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> Who do we have here? Hi. Mom, how can you work this long? Right, we got tired waiting for you. Sorry, got held up. Fighting the suppliers all day. They're trying to change the deal on the fly. Can you imagine? Got it. I'm getting carried away again. I like you like that. All carried away. Is something wrong? Why are you looking at me like that? Our mom's gone crazy from working so much, nothing's wrong. It's just that today we've known each other for exactly one year. No way. Thanks. Only one year. Seems like a lifetime. A lifetime is what we have ahead of us. Mom, come on, get in. We prepared a surprise for you. What surprise? We're going roller skating. Like that first time when we all skated together. Are you serious? Well, yeah, you said you liked it. Mount up. Yeah. Get in.
Thanks. You guys are imaginary. Thanks. Well, are you ready? Yeah. Hooray, 